Hey everyone, Bypass Blake here. On today's video, we'll be comparing the gastric bypass and gastric sleeve surgeries to find out which one is right for you. They are both great options. However, one or the other may be more beneficial for you in the long run depending on what medical problems you currently have. You don't want to miss this video, so stick around. <laughs> So let me start off by saying both of these surgeries are great options for weight loss. You can't really compare the two and say one is better than the other because they both have shown to be very safe and produce great results both short term and long term and are tailored for people with different medical problems. With that being said, there are a few key differences between the two and depending on your medical history, one may be more beneficial than the other one long term. Now, if you're looking for detailed surgical and anatomical differences of the surgeries and how they work, you need to check out my other videos. Links are in the description below. The gastric bypass is typically better for people who suffer from acid reflux, which is heartburn, and people who suffer from diabetes. Gastric bypass has food bypass the duodenum, which normally triggers insulin sensitivity, unlike in the gastric sleeve, so the bypass is better for diabetics. Also with bypass, you have dumping syndrome that gets triggered when you eat a high amount of sugar at one time. So that deters diabetics from consuming too much sugar and keeps their sugar levels from spiking, keeping them at a more normal range. As far as heartburn with a bypass, your stomach produces stomach acid is rerouted a little further down in your intestines away from your esophagus. So it's a lot more difficult to get real heartburn with a gastric bypass. So if you've already had heartburn and you're diabetic, gastric bypass is better surgery for you. Now the gastric sleeve tends to be better for people who have a history of ulcers and that have habits that cause ulcers or take medicines that will cause ulcers. Why? The sleeve is more tolerable to ulcers, whereas the bypass, having an ulcer is a bigger issue. So people who smoke cigarettes, because smoking causes ulcers, take aspirin every day, they cause ulcers, take NSAIDs regularly, such as ibuprofen, those cause ulcers, or people who have a history of ulcers tend to do better with a sleeve than a bypass. The sleeve is also better for people who have had multiple abdominal surgeries where they have significant scar tissue in their abdomen or have had some intestines removed, making gastric bypass more difficult or impossible to perform. Now, similarities with the surgeries, they both reduce your hunger and have you feel full sooner so that you will eat less food and lose weight. With both surgeries, you also get positive bile and bacterial changes in the gut that also metabolically help you lose weight. Both surgeries take about the same amount of time to be performed under general anesthesia with a bypass taking a little bit longer. And both usually have the same recovery times in and out of the hospital. And with both surgeries, typically you'll take about the same amount of vitamins and supplements long term. The bypass has some malabsorption, but not a significant amount to where you have to take a lot more vitamins than you do when compared to the sleeve surgery. Now some differences. With both surgeries, you'll be on similar diets initially after surgery. However, with a sleeve, you'll typically be on a pureed or soft foods longer due to the amount of staples in a sleeve and staying on the pureed and soft food diet is just a way to protect the new sleeve pouch. When you're progressing through your food stages and different textures of food, it's more important in a sleeve that you restrict so it gives those staples time to heal when compared to the bypass. With both surgeries, the amount of food that you can hold initially will be different. The sleeve holds about three ounces of food, which is the size equivalent of a hockey puck, and the bypass one ounce of food or the size of a golf ball. Both the sleeve and a bypass can stretch over time, but you'll typically be able to eat more with a sleeve initially than a bypass. Now let's talk about weight loss differences. They vary person to person, but typically the gastric bypass has the lead over the sleeve when it comes to long-term weight loss numbers. With a sleeve, you'll typically lose about 60 to 70% of your excess body weight over a two year period. With a bypass, you'll lose typically 70 to 80% of your excess body weight over a one year to one and a half year period. Gastric bypass has been dubbed the gold standard for weight loss surgery and statistically has better long-term weight loss results when compared to the sleeve. Well, I hope that gives you more insight on the differences between gastric bypass and gastric sleeve surgeries and gives you a better idea of which one is right for you. Now, you need to take this information and go have a good conversation with your doctor and surgeon about which surgery is right for you. 
If you found this video helpful, then hit that like button, subscribe, share, comment, and as always, thanks for watching.